The difference between TVPCM and Bitstream. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the difference between TVPCM and Bitstream. If you've ever wondered about the technical aspects of audio transmission and how they relate to your TV viewing experience, this video is for you. So, let's dive right in. Understanding TVPCM TVPCM, or pulse code modulation, is a method used to digitally represent analog audio signals. In this process, the audio signal is sampled at regular intervals and each sample is quantized to a specific bit depth. These quantized samples are then transmitted as a continuous stream of digital information. PCM is a commonly used format for audio transmission because it provides accurate representation of the original analog audio signal. It preserves the full dynamic range and frequency response, resulting in high-fidelity sound reproduction. Exploring Bitstream Now, let's move on to Bitstream. Bitstream refers to a digital audio format where the audio data is encoded as a sequence of bits. Unlike PCM, which represents the audio signal as a continuous stream, Bitstream breaks down the audio signal into discrete packets or frames. Bitstream can use various encoding formats, such as Dolby Digital, DTS, or AAC. These formats employ data compression techniques to reduce the size of the audio data without significant loss of quality. The compressed audio data is then transmitted as a bitstream to the receiving device, which decodes the data and reproduces the audio signal. Different Transmission Methods The main difference between TVPCM and bitstream lies in how the audio data is transmitted. With TVPCM, the digital audio signal is transmitted in its uncompressed form, preserving the original audio quality. This means that the receiving device, such as a TV or AV receiver, can directly process the PCM signal without any additional decoding. On the other hand, bitstream transmission involves compressing the audio data using specific encoding formats. This compressed audio data is then transmitted as a bitstream to the receiving device. The receiving device must have the capability to decode the compressed bitstream and convert it back to an analog audio signal for playback. Compatibility in audio formats Another aspect to consider is compatibility in audio formats. PCM is a universally supported audio format, meaning it can be processed by virtually any audio device without requiring additional decoding. This makes it a convenient choice for devices like TVs or Blu-ray players that may not have advanced audio decoding capabilities. Bitstream, on the other hand, relies on the receiving device's ability to decode specific audio formats. If the receiving device doesn't support the format used in the bitstream, it may not be able to properly decode and reproduce the audio signal. This can result in either no audio playback or a fallback to a lower quality audio format. To summarize, TVPCM and bitstream are two different methods of transmitting audio signals. PCM represents the audio signal as an uncompressed stream of digital data, ensuring high-fidelity sound reproduction. Bitstream, on the other hand, compresses the audio data and transmits it as a sequence of bits, requiring the receiving device to decode the data before playback. Understanding the difference between these two methods can help you make informed choices when setting up your audio equipment or when troubleshooting audio playback issues. I hope this video has clarified the distinction between TVPCM and Bitstream for you. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.